Some people, Pastor, I know, my heart's full of ugliness, you know. So, after that, you end up feeling so accused. Accused and condemned. And that's it, no. Listen, Abba, this is where most of us got it wrong. Once you realize that evil in this heart, you pray against evil. Okay? You pray against evil because it is not you, but evil working in you to turn you away from the good that you want to be. You understand what I'm trying to say? You understand? When Paul said something, I know when I do what I do not want to do, it's not me who do it. It's the evil. For me, I delight in God's law. I want to do good. I want to love my brethren. I want to be satisfied with my spouse. Everything, you know, I want to be contented with what I have. But evil is right there with me. There is a presence of evil, the realistic presence. Satan is real. We have to know, okay? So, when you pray, you pray against evil. When you sense it, you're conscious that it has come for you, you pray against it. Because I tell you, the most powerful and meaningful prayer is a prayer that works against the enemy. You don't pray ritually. You pray to ease your Christian conscience. Because I'm a Christian, so I pray. No. If you pray like that, someday you're going to fall into sin. People who fall into sin is not because they are tempted, but they are not praying against evil. They didn't know it's coming inside, and they let it grow, let it take root. When you pray against evil, you must stand on the side of good. You don't stand on the side of evil. What do I mean? Standing on the side of good is, you pray in accordance to what the truth of God says you are. You understand? You pray in accordance to what the truth of God says you are. Now, every time when I pray, you know, when I'm struggling inside me, uh, you know, some emotions, you know, some struggles, you know, I would go into prayer and I would do it this way. Lord, you know I love you and I want to do your will. And Lord, I love my brethren and I love those that you have graciously put around me. And Lord, help me, because the evil is coming against me. Let me overcome it. Give me the grace from the Holy Spirit to overcome it. Now, you listen to my prayer. My prayer is an acknowledgement of what I am, what I truly is. Even though I don't feel, right now, I don't feel I love God a lot. I don't feel I love my brethren. I don't feel... now. When we are accused, when the evil comes against us, it always wants to make us feel responsible. We, this person, okay, you are full of hatred, full of deep resentment. Lord, even though I'm full of resentment, but I still loved the person you put beside me. You see? Now, that is you. That is the real you. That is the you that delight in the law of God, the born again you. You understand? So when you pray like that, and ask for that strength, now you are discerning yourself from the evil. Now that is the evil, the spiritual evil tempting me, okay, disturbing me, influencing me, but I'm not part of him. I am that you that you created, okay? So I pray against him. You understand? And I ask for strength from you. I ask for a transformation of my heart from you, you see? And, and from you, I learn how to love that person, to look at that person you know, in the right way. And when you pray like that, the Holy Spirit works because you pray in accordance to the truth. You understand? So what is evil? Evil meaning evil are untruths. Untruths. Untruths about yourself. Untruths about the way you see your brethren, your spouse. Untruths about everything, the way you manage finance. Every, all the untruths. Because the evil spirit, he is the, Satan is the father of lies. In him there is no truth. Anything that got to do with God's goodness, God's law, everything, there's nothing of it inside him. So he lies. He lies by playing with your emotions and telling you, now you feel that way, right? Now, follow what you feel, you know. Untruths. You get what I mean? Now, you have to know evil from the truth. Once you know evil from the truth, then you can go against the untruth. This is a spiritual battle.